at an aerodrome where there is no ground based visual aids or the ground based navigation aids the aircraft is required to land only when the visibility is 5 km or more and in daytime only but as all of you know the aircraft they are landing at night time also as well as in low visibility also up to the extent in some airports aircraft is permitted to land even when the visibility is 50 meters or even up to 0 meters also how it is possible this is with the help of a ground based visual aids and the ground based electronic aids today i am going to talk, discuss about the electronic aids the electronic or the ground based navigation aids the most important of which is the instrument landing system or the ils now ils has two component one is the localizer the antenna behind me is a very beautiful antenna it's very very important instrument of the instrument landing system is called localizer this antenna is installed at the end of runway it gives electromagnetic wave in a unidirection along the center line of the runway and that electromagnetic wave goes to the extended center line of the runway in the air almost up to 25 nautical miles or you can say up to 50 kilometers it gives the azimuthal guidance to the aircraft landing aircraft so when the aircraft is approaching at an aerodrome at 50 kilometers he cannot see the runway the pilot cannot see inside the runway so the pilot will try to establish his localizer signal and once the aircraft is established in the localizer signal the pilot will follow that signal and that means the aircraft is coming exactly on the center line of the runway he continues and then he commences foot to land this is one part of the instrument landing system another important part which give the vertical guidance is the glide path glide path is another important component of the instrument landing system and as the name indicates it gives the vertical guidance to the landing aircraft it emits electromagnetic signal in a particular angle normally 3 degree and it goes up to the extent of 17 nautical miles or around 25 kilometers from the airport so when the aircraft is coming on the localizer the pilot he try to establish the glide path so that the aircraft can roll on a correct glide angle normally the glide angle is established at around 6 and a half nautical miles from the runway and once the aircraft established localizer as well as glide path that means aircraft is fully established in the ils and aircraft continue approach to make a successful and safe landing this ils along with the visual guidance will decide up to what extend up to what visibility the aircraft will be permitted to land at an aerodrome thanks friend